Lights, are you ready? It's Tuesday evening, it's time for weather for Weather Geeks. The weather, really nice this week. You know, we've come a long way since being in the deep freeze over the uh, course of the uh, weekend. Today was a great afternoon, we'll have another one coming up for tomorrow. We're going to do something a little different this evening. We're going to start with a discussion about the longer range and then get back to the, the short term forecast. What uh, we're looking at here is a map of... Uh, what we call the uh, analogs uh, for December when I put together the winter forecast. Uh, if you watched that video, I showed a map showing the, uh, the analog set for the entire winter. This is just for December. Analoging is where we go back and look at uh, weather data in past years that we think have a similar setup to this year, and then we see what happened in those uh, months and seasons. And uh, a lot of years listed at the top here. Some of these years are weighted. Uh, more importance is put on some years because they're better matches than others. But when you throw all these years together and kind of take a composite or an average, it's a pretty chilly looking map compared to the average across the lower 48 states and around our area as well. So that was the December analogs. But does that mean that's what's going to happen in December? Well, we're starting to see increasing confidence that December will end up being... Uh, certainly colder than last December, which was the fourth warmest on record. And there's some, you know, model trends that definitely bear watching. This is one set of modeling. It's called the CFS, the Climate Forecast System, uh, showing the temperature anomalies for the month of December. Now, the strongest cold anomalies, classic La Nina stuff here, uh, western Canada, down into the high plains of the U.S., northern Rockies. But there's a lot of blue on the map still, out to the east, and a little bit of warmer than average uh, Anomalies shown along the Gulf Coast and back towards the Four Corners region. So the map does not look all that dissimilar from our analog set, which gives us increased confidence that the idea of a colder than average December may hold some merit. And while there's certainly some fluctuations in the modeling as far as the timing of individual cold shots, uh, when it could be stormy and when it may not be, uh, again, confidence is kind of increasing that December will have a distinctly different flavor than last December and could be our first colder than average December in five years. It's been since December of 2017. All right, the sunsets are a little earlier than many of us would like, but it was a still it was still a nice one out there looking west on our uh, tower camera here on the south side of Youngstown. Uh, sunsets are now pre 5 p.m. for the next handful of weeks, 4.58 today. In two weeks, we'll reach our earliest sunsets of the calendar year, 4.53 p.m. is the latest sunset at our latitude. Uh, and a week later, the sunsets start creeping up again. Now, the shortest day of the year is, of course, at the uh, solstice on December 21st. But the sunsets actually start getting a little bit later, uh, about a week or so before the solstice. The sun rises continue getting later all the way until the first handful of days of January. All right, so another good look at the region today from our high-resolution, low-orbiting satellite. I showed this same shot yesterday. We had some clouds around which made it not a pristine looking satellite shot today pretty much cloud free when this shot was taken in the afternoon especially over ohio all this white here is snow cover so from cleveland to east there's snow on the ground and then really it's just as soon as you get across the border from trumbull county up into ashtabula county that you find snow on the ground uh you have to go a little bit deeper into crawford county heading northbound uh to find snow on the ground there but yeah it's a whole different world up here across the primary snow belts of northeast ohio Northwest PA and especially into Southwest New York. All right, the day before Thanksgiving, traditionally the busiest travel day of the year. Uh, sometimes, you know, a few days before Christmas can be pretty similar depending on what day of the week Christmas is, especially. But the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, always busy at the airports and on the roadways. And well, we couldn't ask for a better day, really. Uh, no record heat or anything, but hey, lots of sunshine. Temperatures making their way into the lower and middle 50s region wide. So if you have family coming into town tomorrow, if you're heading out of town tomorrow or you're waiting until Thursday if you have family coming in Thursday the weather is certainly going to cooperate locally and regionally and zooming out and taking away the nation as a whole hard to find many trouble trouble spots out there maybe a little precipitation in the middle of the country including around Dallas uh, maybe down towards Houston but for the most part the country is in pretty darn good shape on our Wednesday locally high pressure and control plenty of sunshine Wednesday a few fair weather clouds in the mix on Thursday it'll be a partly sunny day just fine though for <laughs> any uh backyard football games on Thursday. Now for travelers, or I should say for shoppers, Thursday night into Friday morning, a uh, pretty decent chance that we're going to get wet early in the day Friday. I think chances of rain will decrease as we get into the afternoon and this cold front slides to the east. We'll probably hang out in the clouds for a while Friday afternoon before the clouds clear out and maybe some fog sets up Friday night into Saturday morning. So no 
foul weather this Thanksgiving. <laughs> you have to humor me. Uh, 49 degrees at lunchtime if you're an, uh, an early dinner kind of a family. If your tra traditional Thanksgiving dinner is more like at 1, 2 p.m. Outside, it'll be in the upper 40s to around 50. By late afternoon, uh, we're talking about temperatures making their way up into the uh, lower 50s, 3 o'clock or so, and then dipping down back into the mid-40s just after sunset by about 5 or 6. So that'll be how it is outside, inside. Of course, I hope you and your family are enjoying a nice warm setting with lots of good smells and tastes as well. All right, beyond Thanksgiving, kind of a benign pattern for the rest of November temperature-wise. We're not going to be back in the, in the freezer like we were at the end of last week and into the weekend. Generally at or above average through Sunday, a little bit of a dip on Monday, but then next week, pretty decent warming trend for a few days during midweek. Now this takes us out through next Friday. We talked about the December forecast at the beginning of the uh, video, and while it's certainly not uh, final or anything like that, I showed you some analogs and some model data. Um, December is probably gonna start out reasonably mild, at least for the first couple of days. Now the cold might start making inroads later in that first week of December, not a lot of confidence on when the cold will start winning more battles, but at least the first couple of days of December, not looking all that cold at this point. Thank you for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. We'll do one more edition this week coming up on Wednesday evening. We'll talk about uh, the rain chances and the timing once again for the weekend. We'll talk a little bit more about the longer range, so look forward to seeing you then. If you uh, do not tune in on Wednesday, I certainly understand. I know a lot of us are busy. Hope you and yours have a great Thanksgiving holiday, and uh, I'll see you back here on Monday.